here we go again. It's like 93 degrees out here. I'm gonna be trying a new set of broadheads. <whistles> These are the Nuka Yugas. They're a three blade, but they are um, single bevel. I just need a little bit of breeze to cool off and the hogs to come in. Wait, where did this broadhead come from? <laughs> yeah, this is the other broadhead I wanted to test. This is the Sirius Archery Ranch Ferry 200 grain uh, single bevel with the blood rings, the bleeders. Yeah, found him. He, I shot from right there, from that tree. And this is where he crossed. And he's sitting right there. Right there. DRT, baby. Big boar. analysis of the two shots this guy I purposely shot trying to get him right here between the spine and the shoulder blade so you can see it made it made a big hole this is the uh, the new um, Cayuga right so it made a big hole and it, it went all the way in now it didn't it didn't poke out I actually had to push it through to it wasn't too far out from poking out, but uh, I had to push it through. You can see there's just that one little hole, and that's because um, it uh, the the broadhead ended up. Yeah, I lost two blades inside of the animal, but the but because it wasn't a full pass through and stuck in there, and that pig didn't roll too much. There is in good shape. Now, when we were talking about the uh, the serious Ranch Ferry uh, 200 grain broadheads with the bleeders, the f these are the two I shot. Look at them. One of them was actually dull. The second shot was a dull broadhead because I was using that one for practice. So I followed up on a second shot on that hog because he gave me an opportunity to do so. Um, and I wanted to make sure 
that I could recover him. So the first shot was this one, second shot was that one. The first shot, he was actually quartering towards, and I shot him a little behind, as you can see here, okay? So it poked right through there, that's where I shot him. But it, since he was quartering towards, that shot actually came out. So you're talking other side mid body came through here, went back in there, came out through there, and the broadhead is not damaged. That was the first one that I showed. And the second one, the follow up shot, I actually shot this guy right on the shoulder blade, right here, perfectly broadside. This is what I shot him from, right there. And it came out. Wow, this guy's heavy. Right there. Right there is the hole. That's where he came out. That's the second one, that's the dull broadhead. And this pig was still able to go across the pond and, uh, and died just on the other side of the pond. I'm gonna be weighing these two guys and see how heavy they are. Here you go. Not a small hog, 148.2 pounds. That was a big hog. Real nice tusks. All right, here's the other hog. This is the first one I shot. Hanging clean at 114.2. Good size boar too. All right, so here it is once again. The Ranch Ferry 200 grain series broadheads. This is the hide. It's pretty thick hide. It went through here. Went through that high and came into here. And as it went through there, it did hit, and I can feel bone in there. It did, you know, catch some bone on the way in. And here's the exit right there. Pretty nasty. I can feel shattered bone in there. So as it passed through the body, it came out through here. And it grazed the main bone structure here. It didn't quite hit it, but it grazed it. It came out here and now through that hide. That was the second shot, the one that was perfectly parallel. So two thick hides and one shoulder blade. And that was a dull broadhead that I shot at it. And this is how it came out. Pretty good performance in my opinion.